Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, quick intro here. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you, everybody, who has taken the time to watch the videos and subscribe. If you haven't yet and you've been watching the channel, um, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Like the videos. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think about everything. And I'm uh, going to get started this morning. I already had to do some maintenance and stuff. I don't know if you can tell sweating already a little bit. It's nice and thick out here and humid. But I uh, got four properties to do today and one to look at possibly adding to uh, my list. So uh, possibly five, at least four. Um, these are all um, with the exception of one of them pretty thick grass. So try to get some good footage and um, hopefully y'all enjoy it. So stick around. Well here's the first one y'all. You can see nice thick bahia and it goes out to the road up around the front of the building and then back this way in front of the house Good and thick. This is all the way down. You see how it is. And it goes around front of the house, back around to the shop. And then up under the this back to the end of the fence, about where that thick stuff is at. And uh oh, blocking the camera. So we'll get it done and do a walk around or some pictures of what it looks like when it's finished. Got it wrapped up. Let's do a ride around. Got to trim a few places. y'all so real quick you can see got my two 94 r's here and i've only done this with one so i'm gonna see how it works but i know um, that i've had an issue with it and i know carl from happy's family carl and rachel shout out there um have had an issue with the 94 r not wanting to idle like it'll idle for a short time and then shut off so uh, two things i want to go over that and then i know also i've had an issue sometimes it's hard to start after you refuel it so if it gets low on fuel or whatnot and you have to pop the cap and refuel it and then try to start it back it's a little aggravating just to try to straight start back so that real quick what i do is once it's fueled i'll put the cap in i will prime it four or five times and then turn on the choke you have to turn this up and push it in to lock the choke in place and 99 percent of the time it will start on the first pull the other times it's usually the second pull um hot cold doesn't matter so that's just something for uh, starting on a 94r but to the idling point um there's not like an adjustment screw anywhere here on the uh, just a high low but as far as the idle adjustment it is actually in the trigger i believe or, or it's a trigger adjustment and what it is is there is a hex head or star 
screw that also has a flat blade slot in it that you can use and if you just take and turn that screw counterclockwise so righty tighty um, a couple of turns it actually ups the idle speed on the 94R and uh, should keep it from idling down to the point where it shuts off so I'm still testing that but um, I just did it here on this job because I started it up and I set it down uh, to take a phone call and it might have idled for 30 seconds and then it shut off so um, we'll see how it does but I do know that this is where your idle speed adjustment is so you'll squeeze this down where the trigger will come up and then you'll tighten that screw it's right in the trigger there to uh, increase the idle speed so two things there um, post refueling restart and the uh, idle difficulties with uh, shutting off so two things there for y'all just some information on the uh, actually the idle screw um, item was something that I noticed on another gentleman's channel and forgive me I would give him a shout out but I cannot remember who it was um, I've had so much going on but um, if he watches this video leave me a comment and let me know who the, who, who you are um, so I can mention it in another video and give you credit for that but I've seen another gentleman talking about it and uh, it seems like it's working fairly decently so far so we'll see on to some more uh, making thick grass short see if we can make it through the next one it's a little dark over there
Well, all right, y'all. Real quick, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed the uh, point of view footage there from uh, cutting that thick grass and some of the pictures. And hopefully the uh, information on the FS90R was uh, helpful. So uh, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Um, going to get washed up, and me and my wife going to go get us a bite to eat. So y'all enjoy it, hopefully. Um, if you haven't yet, again, leave me a comment, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel down below, and um, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.